I'm Bailey Scott and I'm a Community Risk Reduction Coordinator with the Tennessee State Fire Marshal's Office. Today, I'm going to show you how to install a smoke alarm. To install a smoke alarm, you'll need smoke alarms, an electric drill or screwdriver, a step ladder, installation paperwork, and a home fire safety tip sheet. First, ask the resident if they're interested in a free smoke alarm through the Get Alarm Tennessee program. If the resident is willing, proceed into the house with all materials. If they decline, make sure to thank them for their time. Once inside the home, look for any existing smoke alarms. Test them to see if they're working and ensure they aren't more than 10 years old. Any non-working or old smoke alarms will need to be replaced. Once you've decided the alarm locations, you'll be ready to install. The best places to install smoke alarms are inside all sleeping areas, outside all sleeping areas, and on every level of the home. Alarms need to be heard by every resident inside whether they're wide awake or fast asleep. When you're considering the placement of alarms, make sure you're installing them high on the wall. Wall mounted alarms should be installed between 4 and 12 inches from the ceiling. Alarms installed on the ceiling should be at least 4 inches from the wall or corner. Don't install the alarms near windows, doors, ducts, or ceiling fans. Smoke alarms shouldn't be installed in kitchens as they are a common cause of nuisance alarms. Any alarm installed near a kitchen should be at least 10 feet from a stove. Drill one wall screw into the wall. Place the bracket on the screw. Then drill the other wall screw into the bracket to secure it to the wall. Make sure the bracket is flush to the wall. Place the alarm on the bracket and turn clockwise until the alarm beeps. The alarm is now up and running. Make sure to tell the resident that the alarm has a 10 year sealed battery. The homeowner will never need to change the batteries. They will, however, need to replace the entire unit after 10 years. Show them the test button, which they should use to test the alarm at least once a month. Last but not least, give the resident a copy of the home fire safety tip sheet before you leave the home. Remind them to practice fire safe behaviors like not smoking in bed, not leaving food unattended, and not putting heating units near flammable objects like blankets or furniture. Also remind them to create a home fire escape plan in case there's a fire, and when the alarm goes off, to get out of the house and call 911. Congratulations, you just helped make Tennessee safer. We appreciate all of your hard work and dedication. To find out more about the Get Alarm Tennessee program or to request a free smoke alarm, visit tn.gov slash fire. Reminder, this is an installation program only. These grant funded alarms are only to be installed by Get Alarm volunteers and cannot simply be handed out to the residents. If the resident doesn't want the volunteers to install, simply thank them for their time and move on to the next home.